Now let's take a look at our menu bar here in Mixcraft 5. Up at the top we have our classic menu. If you click on File, you can go down and see Open New Project, Create New Project, Save, Save As, Burn, Label, etc., etc. Next to the name, you can see the keyboard shortcut. And I would just encourage you to learn as many of these keyboard shortcuts as you can, as it will make your workflow much quicker. For instance, if you go to Sound and down to Fade In, you'll have a drop-down menu here if you want to fade in fast, medium, or slow. There's keyboard shortcuts for all these using your Alt key. I would encourage you to learn those so you don't have to go into the drop-down menu every time you want to fade in or fade out your audio. Just below the main menu, you have a bunch of shortcut buttons. Start here with New Project, Load Project, Save Project, Add Sound, Show Sound Library, Undo Last Action, Redo Last Action, Burn to CD, Mix Down to Audio File, you got Zoom Out, Zoom In, you got your Preference Window, and here you have your envelope types. You got your clip volume, pan, low pass, high pass cutoff, and high pass resonance. We will talk about all these later when we're mixing. Finally, you have your snap button. Right now it's set to off. You can snap to measure, snap to half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, quarter, triplet notes. You have a lot of parameters here. And just in case you're not familiar with snapping, let's set it to snap to half notes. We're going to open up our library. We're going to add a sound in track one. Now if I take this sound and drag it, you'll see that it jumps to the next half note. And I can't go in anywhere in between that half note. Now if I switch it to snap to 30 second notes, you can see it's still a little jagged because it's snapping, or I can turn it off completely, and I can put that sound anywhere that I want to. And that's a brief look at the menu bar in Mixcraft 5.